Welcome back to another segment of Everyday Business Leaders, where we lift and elevate community leaders from all around Indiana. And we are super excited today because we have two amazing women from Because One, an organization that you need to know about as a business leader and find out how you can be involved. Welcome, Stephanie and Stacia. Thank you for having us. We're excited to be here. We're this, super excited. This is so great. I met you guys last year at um, Johnson County's Women's Leadership yes. Luncheon, and it was really great. And yeah. I was like, why don't I know about you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> so we've connected since then, and that's only been a few months ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I love what you're doing, and we've got so many other things to connect on. So awesome. tell us a little bit about your background, um, both of you. Your sisters, if, if people don't we know are. that. <laughs> <laughs> we sound alike sometimes, so. Yes. <laughs> it's awesome. So uh, tell me, take me back to, like, you know, when you guys were growing up together, mm -hmm. thinking about having dreams of doing something mm -hmm. bigger that made more impact. Talk about what that looked like to you guys as you were growing up. What are the things that you were involved in? Yeah, so I think that we did um, a lot of youth group, a lot of church involvement, mm -hmm. um, a lot of family vacations, just mm -hmm. a lot of fun. And it was always for Steph, it was always having like a built in best friend. Mm -hmm. When it comes to making a difference together now, mm -hmm. we look back at a moment in time when our dad actually forged ahead through a fundraising success story. And that's really what's continued to bring our family mm -hmm. together and really why you see Because One as it is today. Mm -hmm. So we look back at this moment in time where a church came together, they raised millions of dollars to build on a new children and youth wing, and then the budget ran out, mm -hmm. right? Construction takes longer, needs change, and the church had to go back to the same people that were already so generous and say, hey, we need more, mm -hmm. right? So our dad said, okay, how do we just tell people what we need? It's really just stuff, right? It's the crowns, it's the table and chairs, it's the drinking fountains and the trees outside. Maybe if people knew what we needed, mm -hmm. it wouldn't look like just more money, right? Right. And I think that what we've realized over the last couple of years is this is the same problem that nonprofits fight and face year after year, right? They're going back to their same supporters and revamping programs and having new needs. And how do we get those needs in front of the same people and also new people? Mm -hmm. And so just as sisters, it was really amazing to be a part of the youth group and be a part of the children's wing that was going to be built and that was, you know, for us mm -hmm. and say, okay, people can come together and fulfill these needs. And people were having fun. And we got to see our dad go up every Sunday and let people know, okay, trees have been given. Mm -hmm. We need tables and chairs. We need this area rug. And it was just an amazing thing to see people come together. And that's really the inspiration of what has brought us back to. This has to exist now in today's day and age and on tech, in online mm -hmm. and on a technological platform. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. I love just the passion that both of you have. You know, we were talking before, like, we don't want to get so loud on the microphones, but that's it, right? You have a story that connected you to a purpose. Mm -hmm. And so as you designed this and said, we want to do this together, we want to serve community. Mm -hmm. But what you're doing is so different than mm -hmm. a lot of other people. You're yep. not just saying, we're going to do this project You've actually created a system where you bring nonprofits and investors and people that want to find out about organizations, where they are and what they need. Mm -hmm. Is it like for Ebony, we just did that gala yes. uh, for so Sunshine fun. Bundles of Joy. And so mm -hmm. she's so cool doing backpacks and bottles and mm -hmm. things for mothers in need. And so talk to me about how did you have this vision to say, OK, but this great thing happened mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we experienced that. How do you? actually take action a mm -hmm. lot of people get stuck in that it felt great right mm -hmm. and selfishly wow we love our dad and that was so fun and we want to be a part of it what was the key that said we need to take action and here's the next step mm -hmm. I think it was our dad just kept saying this was so successful and not only was it successful like Stacia said it built community right mm -hmm. and oh, people gosh. who had never 
stepped foot inside the church were giving. People from out of state were giving because mm-hmm. their grandkids were going to be a part of the vacation Bible school at the church. So seeing how far it reached, mm-hmm. I think just, you know, was a seed in my dad's, our dad's mind. Mm-hmm. And he just kept saying, we have to do this. And Stacia and I are like, we can't make this, you know, a physical book for all the nonprofits. Mm-hmm. Let's find a way to utilize new innovative technologies. And once we started putting pen to paper and, you know, iPhone notes, scrap mm-hmm. pieces of paper, Word documents, late night phone calls, <laughs> we came up with this whole thing of what could this be? What could it look like? Mm-hmm. How can we come alongside not just one or two nonprofits, but all nonprofits mm-hmm. and support them in this way and help them make a difference? Because they're really the ones who know, you know, which moms need a diaper bag, right. which mm-hmm. animals need spayed and neutered. So they know the needs of mm-hmm. the country. And if we can come alongside them, that's what's going to make a difference. Mm-hmm. So I think once we compiled this whole list, mm-hmm. we did some research and ended up with Reeser up in Fort Wayne, their development company. We can't speak highly enough of them. <laughs> no. They're, I feel like they're family. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then once we you know, took it to them and here's our list, our 25 page document or whatever it was, mm-hmm. can we do this? Is this doable? Is it attainable? And um, we've never looked back since. Yeah. You spoke to where people get stuck, right? Like you have this idea, Mm -hmm. you believe in it, you see the need for it, you know, in all different aspects, right? You Mm -hmm. can't ignore it. I think that our family did a really good job of staying faithful to that Mm -hmm. idea, but also making sure that we took the time to recognize the opportunities and the doors that were open. Mm -hmm. You you can only ignore something for so long, Mm -hmm. right? right? (laughs) You have all of this creativity and all of this synergy amongst our family going on. And we see a nonprofit that needs it. We see a business that wants to give back. We see an individual that wants to know where to start in Mm -hmm. terms of making a difference. And it's like, because one would fix that, because one would help there, you know, and you see it everywhere. And then eventually you're like, okay, what are the next steps? And let's let's do discovery. (laughs) Let's see if it works. And after everything just continues to line up, you're like, okay, I can't ignore this. Mm -hmm. Like this is, we have to go make this happen, you know? And yes, there's challenges. Yes, there's pivots and things that you thought were going to happen that didn't and you have to change it. But just being faithful and seeing the opportunities and making sure that we were seeing those through, Mm -hmm. um, you know, is so important for anyone that has a passion or an idea. Just be mindful of what's in front of you Mm -hmm. and where it can really go Mm -hmm. and the people that want to help it go. Mm -hmm. So what do you think when you talk about how you have to pivot? What was one of the things that you thought, oh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Like we have a dream. We know exactly what we want to do, what maybe changed or put you in a different mindset kind of midway through or halfway through, or what did you relearn Mm -hmm. about this process? Yeah, go ahead. I think it's different for both of us. Yeah, you go. As I've been a dental hygienist for over 10 years now, and I think, you know, taking the leap of, you know, this is what I you know, hygiene is what I know. Mm -hmm. I work Monday through Thursday. I work 32 hours a week. I don't take work Mm -hmm. home with me. Mm -hmm. I get an hour long lunch every day. Um, And making the jump to, you know what? I can always go back to hygiene. That's Mm -hmm. what my husband kept saying. He's like, what's the worst that can happen? The Mm -hmm. worst that can happen is this business doesn't go and you go back to hygiene. Mm -hmm. You always have your license. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're right. So just making that jump into, you know, launching a business, I think for me was... It's provided a lot more flexibility in some ways. In other ways, you know, we have late nights. We're working through lunch. We're, Mm -hmm. you know, having all of those fun things. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Making the jump out of, you know, your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally different commitment, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Because it's so scary. A lot of people say, I could never leave that solid paycheck to focus on something that I have no idea where it's going to go. Yeah. And so having that stability of community... I mean, that's what you're building internally, too, is a community of support so that you can make mm-hmm. your dream happen. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And I think, too, it was it was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never launched a business before. We're all smart people. We're surrounded by a lot of smart people. Mm-hmm. But I've never done this before. I definitely know how to clean teeth. Like, mm-hmm. I'm really good at that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think that was it, too. Like, jumping into something where, you know, you're making the best decisions for a business that 
you don't really know how to run yet. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think that all of the pivots come back to us keeping focus on Mm -hmm. our purpose, right? So you, if you can come back to that stake in the ground, (laughs) right. And say, okay, how can we help the most people? Mm -hmm. What feature needs to be built right now to help the most nonprofits or help the most individuals or help the most businesses? What really needs to happen here? And I think that when we did have those hurdles, we said, okay, what, what really are, what problem are we trying to solve right now? Mm -hmm. And who can we align with that can help us see the different options Mm -hmm. and knowing that we didn't need to have all of the answers, but creating those partnerships and saying, okay, who, who has some knowledge in this area? Who can help us wade through, you know, this issue or this next step. And I think that that was a really important part of figuring out where to pivot Mm -hmm. and what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you're, as you're making that leap, as long as you're continuing to focus on where can I best serve and what can I do with my day? What can I do with this platform that will best serve others? Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Melanie Ake. When you visit everydayleaders.com, you'll find valuable resources to become a better leader in your life. Women's leadership programs, including Top Floor Women, our monthly networking events, corporate workshops, and strategic business coaching services. Discover classes and products to develop yourself, including our morning leadership devotionals. Don't forget, order one of my inspirational books, sign up for classes, or pick up some gear in the Leader Store. Listen to the Everyday Business Leaders podcast, apply to be a guest in our studio, or even sponsor your own commercial advertisement. Contact us today at everydayleaders.com. And um, I just think that that makes those decisions and those pivots not easier, but Mm -hmm. you have more energy behind them. Yes. Right? It fuels you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? It goes from kind of that why should I to how can I. Yeah. And it totally changes the perspective because then you see things completely different Mm -hmm. and you attract the people that actually can help you. That's the biggest thing. I think when people don't take action as business leaders, we say, Mm -hmm. oh, well, we need to focus on our own little thing and and you're not familiar with my business. So how could Mm -hmm. you help me? Mm -hmm. Right. And I I think a lot of that, you just naturally kind of people Mm -hmm. get into their own shark tank mind. Right. Yeah. I've put all my money into this and you have no Mm -hmm. idea how that one perspective can change everything. Yeah. And it can really start the momentum in a, a new area that you had no idea. Mm-hmm. You're exactly right. <laughs> it happens yeah. all the time. And yeah. I think it's so fun working with business leaders that have the vision mm-hmm. to say, like, here's where we are, but where do you want this to go? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that's my thing. Where do you guys see this in three years or five years as a business plan? What's kind of what's happening today? How many people do you have signed up under the Because One yep. system? Mm-hmm. And then how can we help you build this for your dream? Mm-hmm. I think that where I see it going in three years, five years, is really the business leaders coming together. I think a lot of times people look at the technology and look at the site and think, oh, that's a mm-hmm. non-profit fundraising platform. Mm -hmm. And yes, it is, but there are social aspects and there's alignment technology Mm -hmm. where a business could come in and say, we care about this community. We care about engaging employees and we care about people knowing that we're doing these awesome things that are big and impactful in our community. Mm -hmm. And because one is there for those businesses that say, hey, we love this nonprofit. We love this group. And we can go on here. We can provide the tool to the nonprofit, but we can encourage our employees and our team to follow along and see good mm-hmm. that our team is doing, see good that a nonprofit that we care about is doing, and just let that really permeate down through the team mm-hmm. and see what differences happen in bringing your team together and your company's culture, mm-hmm. right? And I think that that is something that we want to be more purposeful in communicating and aligning with other business leaders. Mm -hmm. Cause that's really the, the spark in my mind. Imagine if our business leaders started to pick nonprofits that they care about. And Mm -hmm. we broke down those barriers, engaged our teams and spread good. Like the Mm -hmm. platform is designed to do. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm excited to see, Mm -hmm. you know, our community, you know, here, 
our community outside of state lines nationwide. That's what I'm excited to see people get their arms around and really rally together to mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a United Way directed donation and really specific to the very you know, the very specific needs of mm-hmm. that organization. Yep. Not just, hey, I'm going to give to this, and I'm not saying anything against United Way, please. <laughs> I, I work there. <laughs> yes. I work there for a time. But it's the idea that you can really see where your dollars work. Yep. And you can get involved, and you can really understand what's happening. Because mm-hmm. I know a lot of companies were like, hey, if you do this direct donation campaign, that can really help, you know, feed what they want to do to get involved. Mm-hmm. And yet it's still like this this obsolete this $10 a week goes to yep. this organization. Exactly. So, yeah, so finding out about the organizations, what they're doing, how they're making an impact, and how they can get involved. Mm-hmm. Yep, you got yeah. it. I think, too, it really has the ability to essentially be a new, like, g- outflow of good via social media, too, mm-hmm. because, mm-hmm. you know, everyone loves the galas. The galas are fun. A lot of times people are, I mean, Stacia loves bingo. Yes. So I don't know how I many love times bingo. at a bingo there will be an auction going on and Stacia's like, oh. we should we should bid. And I'm like, <laughs> I'll split this with you. Come yeah. on, oh, come on. and have, have these with me. Yeah. So those are exciting. Yeah. And seeing the good that your neighbors, your coworkers, your family, your employer are doing in a scrolling feed on our site, all you're seeing is when nonprofits are supported, which is exciting because they're doing good things in the community. And I think having a social media esque platform where people can just go and scroll mm-hmm. and see that Melanie gave some backpacks mm-hmm. and that my mm-hmm. sister gave some candy, mm-hmm. you know. So things like that, I think, um, looking forward are really exciting too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it really helps. I think uh, if they haven't looked at this, because one.com, because one.com go there right now <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> joe you can show the segment uh but this is really exciting because we need to figure out how to be better business leaders and really be involved in the community this is a great way to help you guys really start to get more recognition on this mm-hmm. yeah let's talk about um giving tuesday that's coming up in november yes. right yes. <laughs> the biggest giving day of the year yeah november yeah. 28th mm-hmm. so so what's your plan? How are we going to help you? Yeah. yeah. So just getting the word out to give during Giving Tuesday on Because One. And not just because we love the platform <laughs> and we know how much it helps people, <laughs> but because of those following features, your dollars given on Because One inspire others. So it's different than just sitting down and saying, I'm going to give to this organization on Giving Tuesday. I'm going to their website or I'm dropping a check in the mail, right? That still feels really awesome and really good. Mm -hmm. But on Because One, when you give $5 or you give $500, that good deed and that thing that you just went and did inspires all of the followers of that nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And that is how we turn giving into a inspirational cycle versus just a good deed by me that maybe I tell my husband about. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Or it's private with your employer, right? It's like, you know that I'm giving. And so you get checked off on a list, Mm -hmm. right? I think that was kind of the philosophy in corporate America. Like everybody needs to give. Mm -hmm. You can select your organization. This is so different because everything's changed Mm -hmm. and social media helps us connect as a community yeah. Yeah. so we can say we can cheer each other on right yes. and find Absolutely. out how we can help and what maybe some of the new things or the new needs are mm-hmm. yep. for that so yeah um, i'm so excited for you Yay. ladies this is Thank really you. awesome anything else you'd like to share about something that's coming up that we should be aware of things that you're going to be involved in that we can connect to you follow you Yeah, so you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um, We share a bunch of fun things that we're doing, also new features, new nonprofits that are popping on. Um, We also do some showcasing for our sponsors Mm -hmm. as well. So as a business, you know, partners with us and starts to make a difference, we're passionate about others knowing this is a business leader that is leading the way using this technology, and here's how you can get involved. Um, I think that those are things, too, just going and getting started. 
started. Mm -hmm. It's completely free to get started. You click the blue get started button, you say that you're a gifter, and you will automatically be aligned with ways to make a difference in this community. You can start to scroll through the good, you can give if you're inspired, but just be a part of something that is new and be a part that is, you know, grounded in just spreading so much good for our community. Mm -hmm. So if there's a nonprofit out there that says, I didn't even know that this existed. Yep. I need to get in touch with you so that I can get involved. Yes. How does that happen? Yep. So they can go onto the website. They click the blue get started button. Yeah. <laughs> and after you click that page, it'll kind of give you a decision. Are you a nonprofit or are you a gifter that wants to make a difference? They would click that they're a nonprofit. It would walk them through the steps. But as soon as they do that, they would pop onto our radar. We can reach out and, you know, answer any questions that they have, or they can walk through the 30 minute application and be <laughs> live on the site within an hour. Wow. So. That's so exciting. There are so many things that have popped up past COVID, right? And people are saying, yes. how do I different, mm -hmm. how do I show up differently to do things differently? And mm -hmm. I think this is just a great way. Mm -hmm. It's exciting to celebrate you ladies. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you yeah. for having us. It's really fun. All right. So don't hesitate. Go to Because One right now. Find an organization that you can support. Look for them in the community that's happening here in the Greenwood and Franklin and Johnson County area. But so much more. These ladies are on the move with a big vision and a big heart. So I recommend you go right there and make a donation today and give back because we need you. Thank you for watching this segment of Everyday Business Leaders and stay tuned for the upcoming shows next. Be an everyday leader in your life.